Spring Bulk Day 12, boys. Don't fall for any gimmicks, okay? A lot of you are sitting here doing length and partials and drop sets and different intensity techniques. When in reality, here's a few things you need to be doing and things that I wish I knew as a beginner. Number one, take two minutes rest between your sets. That's going to increase your motor unit recruitment for the set, and it's going to make your sets more effective. Number two, focus on movements that you actually like and that you can progress long term. Number three, fuel your training with your diet and make sure you're getting probably about one gram of protein per pound of lean mass. And if you're bulking, make sure you're actually in a caloric surplus, not just saying you're in a caloric surplus. Number four, probably the most important thing, make sure you're just progressively overloading. I probably already said it, but just progressively overload. You need to get that in your head. There, like, There's nothing inherently that make something like a drop set conducive to muscle growth. What is actually conducive to muscle growth is doing the same thing every week and getting stronger at that thing, whether it's adding a rep or adding uh, enough, you know, more weight. That's what matters, all right? That's what's going to drive adaptation. And uh, anybody who tells you anything else, just don't listen to them right? You don't need to do any crazy work to drive adaptations. You just need to do hard training, be consistent, don't fall for any weird gimmicks or, you know, influencers that go, when I twist my pinky like this, that's when I unlock new arm gains. It's like, nah, dude, that doesn't mean anything. Just do what you like and go hard and eat a lot. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will see you guys tomorrow.